Hi everyone, this is Kirsty from Early On. Today I have a story to share with you, and this is actually um, the book that we have chosen for our package coming out this week. So if you're interested, um, head on to Keon and sign up for our package. This book is called Giraffes Can't Dance. It's by Giles Andrea, Guy Parker Reese, and the publisher is Scholastic. All right, let's dive in. Giraffes can't dance. How many monkeys do you see? One, two, three. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Grrr, plump. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons, baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, all the animals sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted in the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> coughed a cricket, who had seen Ger Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. And with that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground, and his neck was gently sway swaying, and his tail was swishing around. He threw his legs out sideways, and he swung them everywhere. He did a backward somersault and leapt into the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who had been at the dance arrived, while Gerald boogied and they watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. The end. Thank you so much for listening to this story. I hope you have a great day. See you soon.